Okay, let's look at Donald the Duck Man. He's trying to duck from the charges. Quack, quack. Anyway, <laughs> Mr. Quack, quack. That's what I'll call him today. So let's look and see what quack, quack, what he um, was thinking he was doing. What did he think he was doing and taking classified information out of the White House, 15 boxes of stuff and things that he shredded, okay, was shredding, which is illegal. What was he thinking? So we're going to look at that first. What in the world was he thinking? We're going to start with that. What was Quack Quack thinking about taking this boxes of documents to Mar-a-Lago? Oh, my goodness. First thing out, um, okay, immediately what I see with that, he wanted to keep a lid on things, okay? Things that were uh, emotional to him. He's emo You know how emotionally he is tied up with everything? That, you know, the narcissist, everything revolves around him, and he doesn't want them to have that information. He wants to keep a lid on things because he knows that this could cause a struggle. And I think it was also a struggle within himself of knowing if this stuff became, um, became readily available. So he took it with him, okay, in the center of it all. Yeah, evaluating uh, what he had done. And, and, you know, of course, people are not happy with it. He thought if he took it, he could have a victory, okay? I'll just take it with me. They don't have access to it. I'm, I'm good to go. I'm easy breezy, okay? So let's see what we have coming up. Yeah, he thinks that he is the uh, grand poobah, the king. I'm wealthy, and I can do what I choose. Okay, and also an abuse of power, he could make money off of it. He, these are classified secrets. Classified secrets that he could use and abuse. Okay, he could abuse them. Okay, and he is not above selling, selling information. Okay, so underneath of it all, we have taking action. Now, this could be either, for me, the female is Shakti movement, okay? The uh, male is prior to that, maybe, you know, kind of sitting with things. It can be that, or this could be ones like, Pelosi or other people that are wanting to take action, looking at the January 6th thing and other things that he's doing, it could also be that. Someone there to take action because they are pushing this going forward with, yeah, I think it has to do with January 6th, etc. his time in the White House, looking at his actions and... <clears throat> all of the stinky fish things he was doing behind the scenes. Stinky fish, okay? Um, the, <laughs> the villain, okay? So looking at all the villainous stuff he was doing behind the scenes. So he just thought he could take it and uh, keep a lid on things, okay? So they can't investigate. If I've got the documents elsewhere, they can't, you know, he didn't shred all of them, but he did shred some of them, okay? So, they are looking at possible, asking the DOJ about this, if, if there could be possible charges. So, let's look and see what we have with that. Could there be possible charges? Quack, quack for him taking things out of the office down to Mar-a-Lago, especially classified documents. What 
is the Justice Department going to say about that? Okay, let's look and see what we have. Okay. Let me see what's with it. Okay, working on it. That it's something that they're working on that they're going to have to look into, into um, what's proper, the things you can have, the things you can't have. Okay, um, looking at, again, what he was holding on to, what he was taking with him. Uh, in the center of it, not a surprise, investigating. They're going to look into it deeper, okay, for the abundance of stuff that he took, because he took quite a bit of things with him, okay? And these, again, are things he could sell, possibly, to foreign powers. Um, and going forward, we have, this is going to be, it's going to, it takes some time looking into it, as often, okay? Uh, the celebratory thing, um, was he in uh, cahoots with somebody else, okay? And what did they think they were going to get out of it? Who was there to prosper from it? Who was tied up with that, okay? That it's going to bring an end point to something, we have the retreating, stopping retreating, and new information coming out about uh, could be possible money deals and yeah, offerings that were being made. That doesn't sound good, does it? Um, so yeah, there may be an offering in the mix, or it could have been him uh, perhaps offering to sell information. Uh, but some sort of an offer there, and um, just looking at what documents he has. Yeah, so I think it's going to take a while before they finally sort it all out, but they are looking into it possible, could be possible criminal stuff. You can't take documents like that. Um, those belong to the presidential archives for history, okay? Uh, so they can go back and look at somebody's presidential time later in history and see all the things that were going on there. So we'll have to watch and see what's going to happen to Mr. Quack. Quack, quack, quack. The con man, okay? Uh, just... Oh, he is in the soup. I tell you, the the, the, the quacker is in the soup, and uh, it's it's heating up. It just I just see the frog in the water where it heats up. You know, little by little, it's heating up, heating up, heating up, and he's going to get cooked before he knows it. So I'm going to leave this here. Oh my goodness, let's have good vibes today. Hope so, and let's go onward and upward and just watch these dominoes teetering and waiting for that first one to fall and then they all go in pretty rapid succession after that thanks for tuning in i'll see you online